Warren Buffett's 10 Rules for Success. Without passion, you don't have energy. Without energy, you have nothing. So let's count on the billionaire Warren Buffett to give you the gift of wisdom as you walk through the path of success. Welcome back to our channel, Get Going. If you've wondered what has helped billionaire Warren Buffett, then you're at the right place. Check out the video for his 10 rules for success. Warren Buffett, also known as the Oracle of Omaha, is a person you surely have heard about. Mr. Buffett is an American investor, business tycoon, philanthropist, and the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway. He was the single most expert investor and a businessman in the 20th century whose wealth accounts over $70 billion. He was ranked third in the 400 wealthiest persons in America, the second richest person in the US and the world. Born in Omaha, Nebraska, he graduated from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln and enrolled at Columbia University and received his Master of Science in Economics, then attended the New York Institute of Finance. After working for several firms, he started his own company. At the age of 40, he became the chairman and the largest stakeholder of Berkshire Hathaway. Buffett's strategies for smart investing and amassing wealth are not too much complicated. Here we share the top 10 rules behind Mr. Buffett's success. Number one, find your passion. You know that proficiency comes with the time invested. There's a quote by Mark Anthony that says, do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. It means that finding your passion makes you enjoy what you do despite of the time you spend working. And then you'll be on the right track. I think you should look for the job that you would want to hold if you didn't need a job. Look for the job that turns you on, find a passion. Number two, hire well. It's easier to reach success when we blend in with the like-minded people. According to Buffett, you as an employer or an entrepreneur should look for people with three qualities. Those are integrity, intelligence, and energy to have an ardent workforce. It's no secret that hiring one of the biggest challenges of managing and creating an efficient team, and it can be a tough job to find trustworthy and hardworking employees, but your people are the greatest asset. Therefore, you need to be careful to hire good employees. Three things in hiring people look for integrity, intelligence, and energy. Number three, don't care what others think. There are 7 billion people in the world. Each one of them have their own opinions. It doesn't matter that others don't understand what you do, do what you love. Those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. This is also a saying that inspires us to do what we love. Just stay in the circle that supports you and show you the right path. If someone stands against you, just go back to study the facts, but never let it lose your potential. It's natural to feel happy when you're liked by others, but that doesn't mean that you have to be accepted all the time to do what makes you happy. Burn what others think and fuel what is good for you. Never bothered me if people disagreed with what I thought, uh, as long as I felt I knew the fact. Number four, read, read, read. Separate a time in your daily routine to read a fair number of magazines, newspapers, books, annual reports, and most specifically, the biographies. To achieve success in any field, the first factor you need is knowledge. Reading is the first and foremost way knowledge is transferred from one person to another. Also, reading is the best way of self-studying and self-exploring. You might realize the fact in the real world, good learners become good employees, but self-explorers become the best employers. Here are some of the books that Warren Buffett recommends. Business Adventures, 12 Classic Tales from the World of Wall Street by John Brooks, The Essays of Warren Buffett by Warren Buffett, The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. I just read and read and read. I probably read five to six hours a day. Number five, have a margin of safety. Margin of safety is the difference between an intrinsic value of a stock and its market value. This is an important indicator of the soundness of a business as it shows how much sales may decrease before the firm has to suffer a loss. Buffett has explained this scenario in simple terms. A truck weighing 9,900 pounds should take a bridge of load capacity 20,000 pounds rather than that of a capacity with 10,000 pounds. So it's quite important to have a margin of safety since we can't always have good times, must be ready for tough times as well. 
You don't get paid for what's already happened. You only get paid for what's going to happen in the future. The past is only useful to you in the extent to which it gives you insights into the future. Number six, have a competitive advantage. Warren Buffett says capitalism is all about somebody coming in and trying to take the castle. Now what you need is a castle that has durable competitive advantage. Competitive advantage is the factors that allows a company to produce goods or services better and cheaper than its rivals. This is an advantage over competitors gained by offering consumers a greater value. Being a low-cost producer, intruding unique talents, your resources, skillful management into your business, and so on. This will help you to outperform your competitors. At Berkshire Hathaway, we own 73 businesses now, and in businesses, we're looking for an entity that has durable competitive advantage. Number seven, schedule for your personality. Warren Buffett doesn't like meetings, so he built his businesses around his personality, doing it the way he prefers and enjoys. Also, he said that in order to succeed, you must find your own pace and your sweet spot. Do that and you'll enjoy your work and perform at your best. So begin a plan and amend a working schedule that fits best your personality and attitudes. Also, plan your future mindfully to stand confident in the flow. Well, I certainly learned to speak in public at one time. I was terrified of speaking in public when I was in high school. I avoided any class that would require it, and, and in college. And then I finally signed up for a Dale Carnegie course. In terms of public speaking, I really had to force myself on that. In terms of talking privately, they couldn't stop me from the moment I started. <laughs> Number eight, always be competing. Competency is also an important factor. More competition keeps you sharp and aware. In this fast-forward society, it's important to focus on the competition. Otherwise, you'll soon be out of the race. Competition also improves the quality of what you do and motivates you to bring out the best in yourself. This will open new opportunities for you and keep you on the right track. So it's good to have competitors on the way. You, you want a, a restlessness, a feeling that, you know, that, that somebody's always after you, but you're going to stay ahead of them. You, you always want to be on the move. Number nine, have a model of success. Common secret of the most influential people is having a mentor in the mindset. Buffett is inspired by a book written by Ben Graham. You might also have an iconic personality that inspires you. On our own way to success, there will be a lot of things that we don't know. That's why we need the inspiration from successful people. So it's always important to keep a mentor since it helps you to motivate yourself. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. Your role models have already gone through the same problems. Therefore, you can take examples from them. Be mindful not to imitate the mentors, but to explore their inner strengths and attitudes. It is very important to have your own initiative since different people have different opinions. While following your role models, you can give the process your own twist. Who was Ben Graham? He, he was your primary mentor, model? He was a wonderful man and he was my professor at Columbia. I read his book when I was 19 at the University of Nebraska. And I'd started investing when I was 11 and I started reading about it when I was like seven. So I'd gone through all, I read every book in the Omaha Public Library that there was on, by the time I was 12 on, on investing in stock market. And I had a lot of fun, but I never really found out, I never got grounded in anything. And it, it, was, it was entertaining, but it wasn't gonna be profitable. And then I read Graham's book, The Intelligent Investor, when I was at the University of Nebraska. Number 10, give unconditional love. This is the final rule of success Mr. Buffett revealed in his profile for the great minds of investing. The most important reason behind his success is his father's love and support. He states that it was his father who taught him the most important lesson to give unconditional love. Also, you should realize that the more you give love away, the more you get. This is the greatest unconditional love, which will have an excellent return for your life. So what do you think is behind this transformative power of Glide? Well, is unconditional love. These are the top 10 secrets of Warren Buffett that helps him to remain successful as a leader of his profitable company for more than 40 years. We hope that this video is a good inspiration for you to take a new step. Thanks for watching our video. Feel free to share your opinions in the comment section below. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified on the latest videos. Stay tuned with us to watch new videos. If you watch this to the end, we hope you will start walking towards success with Warren Buffett's advices starting from today.